I'm BJ Armstrong. I'm here today with uh, some really good friends of mine, John and Amy Harris, that I actually met as a result of this kitchen that we're standing in. So it, it, it didn't really start that way, but uh, uh, this, was, this was one of the best projects that I've been involved with, right? So everybody has their kind of favorite story about their favorite customer or whatever else. And honestly, this is one of mine. It was just fun from the beginning to the end. Um, it continues now with a with a friendship that's lasted. So so when I look back at success in my career, this is one of those that I say, hey, this is this is towards the pinnacle of the things that I've done. So I get a really special opportunity today to to hang out with them and just talk a little bit about what their experience and what their journey was like, right? Right. So uh, John and Amy Harris, I I don't even know what I'd ask you guys to. I don't like what's your favorite color or something like that, but <laughs> but what do we need to know about you? You have two boys. Yes, two boys. They're yeah. nine and ten. Nine and ten. Yes. How old were they when you started this, or before we before we came here? Um, let's see, three and four, and then they turned four and five, right? When three we and four. Yeah. And you guys are transplants to Bloomington, yeah. right? You're not you're not originally from here, so. Right. Um, so tell me a little bit about you came in from. Somewhere else, yeah, you're from West Michigan. Michigan. West right? Michigan, right over on Lake Michigan. And you don't have any sort of, uh, you don't miss that at all, right? Um, a little bit. <laughs> I don't miss the snow that they had yesterday. Well, I think that's a little bit telling to your story, right? Because, right. because uh, yeah, you're always talking about the lake and all that kind of stuff, right? right. So, anyway, you landed in Bloomington and you lived you lived in another neighborhood in a newish home, correct? Yeah. yeah. Did you buy it brand new? We yeah, bought it brand new. Brand new. Brand, brand new. new. All right, right, so perfect. So. So you lived there, for how long How long were you there? We lived there for five years, and we sort of, we missed the trees, we missed the coziness, we missed the quaintness of our past house in Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of older houses in the area, and we just really, we were on the search. So would you say you were old house fans? I mean, is that one of yeah. the things that you didn't like about new a new home? Right. Like, yeah, I yeah. We, the, the, the charm new, of it, the charm yeah, the character, of the character. The, the new okay. home had some character. It was nice and beautiful and new, and it actually was bigger than, than this house when we purchased this one. Right. Uh, so the space wasn't really what we were after. Gotcha. Uh, so, so what was it about that space that maybe, any does anything stand out where you go, hey, I just hated, I just hated you know, this it, about it, that house? Right. You know, the house itself worked for us at that time of our um, chapter right. of our lives with our little ones. Right. But uh, driving up to the house without the cute neighborhood and the trees and um, cookie cutters, I yes, describe, yeah, right? I just um, was more. And you had some personal feel. touches in there, as I recall. Yeah. I mean, it was right. it was right. it was very nicely done on the inside. Exactly. So okay, yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, so so someday you woke up and decided. I'm yeah. just going to go look. Is that the right word? The kids, um, when they were really little, they were babies. I'd put them in the back of the car, and I'd just drive up and down <laughs> all the streets, all over Bloomington and Normal, and just drive, drive, drive. So you pretty much sorted out where you wanted to yeah. be. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. And you just keep an eye until it was Yes. Until I, found, I felt like some of these older homes were more um, for sale by owner. Right. And I... Um, not really on the market, so I would just try yeah. to search, and that's this one was actually just. And, and the, I would say that that's true in these particular neighborhoods. They sell everything so easy, and right. but you know that that yeah, most of the time they'll right. they'll show up for sale by owner. So right. right. Um, so all right, so I do remember getting the phone call yeah. that was you'll never believe what we just did, <laughs> <laughs> and we kind of didn't believe it either. Right. We when we first saw this house, it was. It was love at first sight on this house, and you know, for the location, we went in the backyard, and we're like, oh, this, and, and we knew we wanted to buy it, but it, it was a slow process. We didn't just go and buy it that day. We, we waited, and, and then the timing became what we thought was right, and so yeah, we gave you the call, <laughs> knowing that you would be have your creativity, right. and, uh, and going from there. I think you might have tried to talk us out of it. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. No, that's you didn't fair. just try to dissuade us, but you I definitely th questioned. I think I did, in fact, and sure? I think I even, even a handful of times yeah. during the project, I was going, seriously. Um, honestly, what, what, what got me comfortable with it was somewhere along that way, along that time, you started your blog. Right. That was, uh, what's it? The Little Brick House. The Little Brick House. Yes. Right? And, and, and there became this whole theme for the project, I think, for, for what you were doing that was 
hey, we're, we're downsizing into yeah. something that's just different. And I don't know if that was your intention or not. Right. It, it just sort of became right. the intention. Um, our first, as we, when we bought the house, our first thing we were going to, you know, add on right away and do this whole yeah. remodel plus addition. But as it came down to it, um, we're like, you know what? Let's just downsize and be the little brick house. Um, What's, what was what shows up as frustrating when you're you've bought a house? I mean, you're committed yeah. at that point, and we're doing design work. Right. Tell me about that. What what was? You know, hard? we'd go in. We had the great a great design. All of a sudden, we'd get excited about it, and then uh, we would go to the bank, and you know, just the uh, different houses around this right. neighborhood. They range anywhere from yeah. you know low end to high end, and right. it's all different. It's not yeah. just like a neighborhood that has the same. You know, 300,000, yeah. 350 that has. So trying to get an appraisal that yeah. would match what we were going to be investing in the home, that was a challenge. And did we, you ever, um, this is probably a question more yeah. for me than is anybody else, but did you ever get to the point where, where it was a, hey, I don't feel like the, I don't, I'm going to say overcharge, right? Because I think a lot of times that gets steered towards a, the contractor where, hey, is the contractor overcharging me or is it really not worth that? Did you ever get through that? I don't remember having that conversation directly, but it doesn't mean you yeah, weren't there. Yeah, no, I mean, we scaled back on the plans quite a bit. I here do and remember there. scaling we, it back. We would scale it back and scale back the rooms. And um, I mean, for some of our plans were to even have a kitchen out back uh -huh. and That's right. switch, switch all these rooms up. And um, so we kept making it smaller and smaller till one day we just said, Skip the addition for now, yeah. and let's just focus on yeah. this little brick house. Lose the helicopter pad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the Bentley garage, I do remember. You know what I do remember is the whole garage that was way out yes. back, too, and all that. Remember? Yes. It, was, it, was, it was cool. Right. I would still love to see that project done today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Part of it, the, the great thing about it is it, the benefits now that we have in the house is it forced us, totally, completely forced us to have solid design. And it, yeah, I, I'm glad you brought that up because it does, it, it forces efficiency of design and also efficiency of dollars. I mean, yeah. I mean, literally when something isn't going to appraise because of the neighborhood, you do have to reconsider, is, is this something worth investing our dollars in? Yeah. Right. yeah. I'd say I, I, after uh, some of the things were said and done, I was glad that we didn't make a big invest. I'm glad that we didn't borrow more money to make it bigger because it wouldn't have been a very good design it would have been something that wasn't it wouldn't have been a special right 